G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel. I've got my two colour wheel red green colour system up and going again. And um, I'm experimenting around, this time in um, using something that's quite colourful up the back there. And yeah, I'm using a spotlight to illuminated enough for the Vidicon camera to pick up. Anyhow, um, I'm still not getting the colour picture I want. I slow this um, colour wheel down till, till the red and the green sort of blend and I'm still not quite getting the actual red-green colour picture that I want. What's happening is, is I'm getting kind of like a khaki yellowy sort of monochrome instead which is not quite what I hope for but hmm I'm gonna try a few things I'm probably gonna try and adjust the brightness and contrast of the of the viewfinder and I'll that would be one idea in mind. Um, well, that's the only thing I can really think of at the moment. Yeah, um, anyways, um, I'm glad I have got this experiment up to testing stage and testing to see if it actually works or not learning about the principles of field sequential colour television is alone quite fun to do and it's it's really cool to just even you know experiment around with it even if it doesn't work it's yeah it's just it's a lot of fun I'm not quite sure if this motor is actually spinning fast enough or if it's spinning a bit too slow. I'll slow it right down and I still don't quite see the see a separation in the primary colours. And when it speeds up I tend to get a I tend to get the addition of the of the red and the green which yeah makes a yellow picture. Yeah, a lot of fun experimenting and yeah, I have to get this working properly. This is Troy from Troy's from Troy's Visual Arts Channel, so yeah.